Hello, this is Miss Augustine, and we are working on scientific measurements and calculations. And so today I want to talk about the SI units, and we're going to be talking about how we understand these units when we're doing calculations. So, the units that we use are the SI, which is the International System of Units, the System International de Units. Uh, I don't speak French very well, but anyhow, that's what it stands for. And they are a revised version of the metric system. And there are seven base units that we have in measuring things in science. All of the rest of the units are derived. So the base units are, when you're talking about length, you use the meter. And when you're talking about mass, you use the kilogram, although in chemistry class we really use the gram as our base. For temperature, we use the Kelvin. For time, it's the second. For quantities, it's the mole, and we'll learn about these later. Luminosity, or brightness, is the candela. And current is the ampere. And in our class, we're really going to be concerned with the first five of these. We won't really do much with luminosity or current. So the metric prefixes look like this. And the metric prefixes tell you the magnitude of the number. So if the prefix is capital M, it means a million of whatever your base is. So if your base is, for instance, a meter, a megameter would be a million meters. The kilo prefix with the symbol uh, lowercase k is a thousand or 10 to the three. Hecto is uh, lowercase h, 10 to the two or a hundred. Deca, da, is 10 of whatever your base is, uh, so 10 times. The base would be 10 to the zero. And then deci is a tenth, centi is a hundredth, milli is a thousandth, and micro, and this is the Greek letter mu, is a millionth. So it's important to memorize these. So some years ago, a student of mine came up with this saying to remember from mega down to micro, most kittens hate dogs because dogs can't meow much. So most mega kittens, kilo, hate, hecto, dogs, deca, because, base, dogs, deci, can't, centi, meow, milli, much, micro. Now, when you're doing these, I like to set them up from left to right. So let me tell you what we're doing here. The unit that you're using tells you what type of measurement is being made. So if your base unit is the gram, you're measuring mass. If your base unit is the liter, you're measuring volume. If it's the meter, you're measuring length. It might be time, and you're measuring seconds. It might be, um, I don't know, something else we might measure. Time, uh, coming up blank here for a moment, but at any rate, that letter is going to tell you. So a kg would be the prefix kilogram. If it was about, uh, volume, it might be a kiloliter. And if it's about length, it might be a kilometer or kilometer. If it's a decigram, it's a tenth of a gram. If it's a deciliter, it's a tenth of a liter. Decimeter, tenth of a meter. So again, if you set it up this way, and remember, most kittens hate dogs because dogs can't meow much, and I think I have that there for you, then you can navigate if you're trying to go, for instance, from centi to meters, the base, you know you have to take one, two steps to the left. So that would guide you in how you're moving your decimal. If you were going from meters to centimeters, again, you would know that you were taking one, two steps to the right, so you would move your decimal place two places to the right. So I think that this chart is useful when you're trying to figure out how to do straight up metric conversions. And I want to point out that at the one end between kilo and mega, it's a jump of a thousand. So that's actually three.
powers of 10. So it goes from a thousand to a million. And at the far right, you're going from milli to micro again. That's a jump of a thousand. So 10 to the three. You'll notice within this other portion, it's a jump of 10. So here, 10 to the minus three, 10 to the minus two, 10 to the minus one, 10 to the zero, 10 to the one, 10 to the two, 10 to the three. So it's useful to memorize this kind of chart. And again, the saying helps you set up your prefixes. So now let's try one. For a metric to metric conversion, the first thing you're going to ask yourself is what unit were you given and figure out where it is up here. And then what unit do you need? Then look at the symbols and move your decimal to match the number of jumps and the direction you need to move your decimal. So now let's convert 6.6 .6 kilograms to grams. So I'm going to trot out my little prefixes. And I'm going to say, okay, I'm starting at kilograms and I want to go to grams, which is a base unit. And so the direction I'm moving is from kilograms to base. So I'm moving to the right. So I'm going to need to move my decimal three places to the right. So now I'm going to take my number and I'm going to give myself some zeros. So I have some room to bounce and I'm going to bounce my decimal. So I'm going to go one, two, three. So that means my number is going to be 6,600. So one, two, three. So I have to put two zeros. And you'll notice I did not put a decimal point after this second zero. And the reason is the number I was given, 6.6 .6 kilograms, had only two significant digits. So I have to keep the same number of significant digits. Let's try another one. So let's try converting 250 milliliters to liters. So there are my prefixes and I'm going to go from milliliters, which is there, to liters and liters are the base. So I'm moving to the left. So that means I need to move my decimal one, two, three places to the left. So I'm going to start with my number 250 and I've put in a decimal point just so that I know what I'm bouncing. There's no decimal point in my original measurement, but let's put one in there and then let's put in our bounces one, two, three. So that means that my new number is 0.25 liters. Notice the number up here the trailing zero was not significant, so there were only two significant digits. So in my answer, I have to be careful to only keep two significant digits. So now I hope this has been helpful. I think that it's really important for you to set yourself up your little set of uh, prefixes. Most kittens hate dogs because dogs can't meow much and then have a starting point and an end point. Decide how many steps, one, two, three, or one, two, three, that you're going to take. Remember that at this end, the jump between milli and micro is actually three steps, and between kilo and mega is three steps as well. But again, count how many steps, and then you just move your decimal the same number of places and the same direction. So if you're going from milli to base, you're moving to the left. That means the decimal moves to the left. And if you're moving to the right, then the decimal moves to the right as well. So this is Ms. Augustine signing off.